I did actually ask, you know, am I going to die if I don't have this operation? And he said yes, and I said, well, I want to live, so let's just get on with it. My name is Jane Hunt, and I'm the Member of Parliament for Loughborough. I went to see my GP and they sent me for a colonoscopy. I went to Leicester General Hospital. They, they carry out the colonoscopy and you can see it on the, on the screen at the same time. So you could see, you know, pink, pink, this lovely, all the way around your colon. And then there was this big black thing. I'm told it was about the size of a satsuma. And I'm afraid I said, what the hell's that? And the surgeon said, I'm sorry, I'm afraid that's cancer. So they go through the rest of the process and I have to say, I'm not quite sure I was aware of everything at that stage. He went through the situation, explained it very well, very, very calmly and matter-of-factly that I did have bowel cancer. I was very grateful to him, in fact, I, I thanked him for the way he put it because he was perfectly calm, he'd explained it to me thoroughly, I understood and I really trusted him. I did actually ask, you know, am I going to die if I don't have this operation? And he said yes, and I said, well, I want to live, so let's just get on with it. I was terrified, I'll be honest with you. The uh, and surgeon and anaesthetist all leaned over me as I was lying down and said, they knew who I was and what I did, and they said, so, about planning? And of course, we just, we just laughed, and I laughed. They relaxed me completely, and that's the, the last thing, really, I remember before I woke up in the high dependency unit. You have the operation, you have a, a, a recovery period and then you start chemotherapy. So I, I did try to go back to work earlier. I promised I would do a speech for the police. I leant the back of my legs on, against the chair and stood up and said it and sat down. I knew I wasn't well enough to come back, which was really, really heartbreaking. It's hard to explain, but I felt like I'd let the side down. Um, and so I just couldn't tell people. I just couldn't, not, not at first. I need to look after Loughborough. I've wanted to do this job my whole life. And what with COVID and everything, everything's thwarted me um, in this last four and a half years, absolutely everything. But I'm damned if it's gonna stop me. Definitely go and get a diagnosis. What I don't want to do is get people scared about chemotherapy. It's worth it because if you just go through the 12 weeks of chemotherapy, you know you've done everything you can possibly do to help yourself recover. I feel really, really good. I'm gradually coming out of it. Life is really valuable. That's what I've taken away. Um, forget money, forget ambition, forget any of those things. It's people that you you really, really realise are the most important things in your life.